In this video, I am actually going to delete the most popular video on my channel. It is the video with the most amount of views. It is my BitMix tutorial and I am going to explain why I'm deleting this video. And if you think that that sounds interesting, then I think that you should definitely keep watching this video. Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carl and I'm here to bring you this cryptocurrency video. And if you go over to my channel and click videos, and if you then sort my videos by most popular, then you will see that my BitMix tutorial is the most popular video on my channel, 130,000 views. And actually when you search for BitMix tutorial on YouTube, this is the top result. And even on Google, it is gaining a lot of views week over week. So why why am I going to delete my most successful video on my channel? Well, I uploaded my BitMix tutorial November the 19th, 2018 and all of you loved this video. I had 4.4 thousand likes and uh, I had so many nice comments from you guys. Uh, and I know that you loved this video because these comments are just amazing. Thank you very much for all of your engagement on this tutorial. And guys, later in this video, I am going to show you this Medium article that went completely viral about BitMEX insiders caught in a web of lies. This is mind-blowing stuff. Make sure to stick around for that. But let me now cut to the chase. Let me now delete this video. So here I am in the back end of my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna have to search for this video. And here you can see this video, it's still public, but now I'm going to uh, mark this like that and then I'm going to go to more actions. And if I click more actions and then I click this, delete forever. I understand that deleting is permanent and can't be undone. Delete forever. And now it's in the process of deleting this video and there we go, now it's gone. All right, so that's it. Now you cannot find this video anymore. It is completely gone. You cannot search for it. It is completely gone. And why did I do this? Well, ever since I made this video, a lot has happened with BitMEX. They have had many different issues and I want to address these issues because like I said, my BitMEX tutorial was the top result on YouTube and Google when you search for BitMEX and for BitMEX tutorial. And in my opinion, I think that the top result should have a big disclaimer about the risks of using this platform. Because in my BitMEX tutorial, I basically only showed you how to use the exchange. I didn't tell you about the flaws of the exchange. And I made this video a long time ago and ever since, a lot of things have changed. And the first things that I wanna address is the order submission error. When you use BitMEX, and if you are using BitMEX, then you know what I'm talking about. This is a very, very frustrating um, error message that comes up when you're trying to submit your order. This usually happens in a very highly volatile moment of when Bitcoin is spiking up or dumping down, and it's impossible to put in your order. And of course, this leads to people losing money because some people can't get out of a position, some people cannot get into a position, they enter too late, and it's a very very, very big flaw and I think that a video ranking number one for the word BitMEX should have a huge disclaimer for this and that's why I deleted my old video and that's why I'm making this new video. But that's not all. I also think that BitMEX does not have a very good customer service. And this is something that I have personal experience from. I've been an affiliate for BitMEX and I've been a customer of BitMEX. I've been trading on BitMEX. And I think that the customer service has always been very poor. I've tried to get answers and sometimes they, they're very slow. Sometimes they're just referring me to someone else that doesn't really even understand what I'm trying to tell them. And if you are looking for a BitMEX alternative with all outstanding customer service, I always recommend people to use Bybit if you are an experienced trader. They have by far the best customer service in crypto. And then there are competitors to Bybit. Of course, we have Femix, PrimeXPT, and I've listed these in the pinned comment as the top three BitMEX alternatives. I am going to talk more about these specific exchanges later in this video, but if you do want to use these affiliate links, I get a small commission. And the good thing is that if you use my specific links down here, then you will be given a bonus from the exchanges. And out of these three alternatives, I would love to know which one you prefer. Please vote in the poll popping up right on top of the screen right now, which one of these three, Bybit, Femix and Prime XPT is your 
favorite derivatives exchange right now. And if your favorite exchange is not one of these three, please comment below in the comment section. But more about Bybit, Femix, and Prime XBT later in this video. Now I wanna continue to talk about the poor customer service. So like I said, I have personal experience from this, but when you go online, it didn't take long. A few Google searches and I found other people who had similar experiences when it comes to poor customer service from BitMEX. And this is an example I found from Google of someone who also uh, experienced this bad customer service. And this person explains here how they also were referred back and forth between different people. And guys, imagine that over the course of a week being in contact with five different people from BitMEX talking about the exact same issue. Of course, it's much better to have one person in charge of your issue uh, instead of just referring back and forth and you have to explain it all over again all the time. And also guys, do you remember Tone Vase and his issue with BitMEX? Let me just read this paragraph here. You might remember that the industry leading trader consultant Tone Vase had over 900 referred customers when BitMEX suspended his account for him being a US citizen without any proof nor even asking him for a copy of his non-US passport. We're sure they were quite happy with how everything proceeded when he provided them with hundreds of customers a month. Then one day someone at BitMEX likely just said screw Tone Vase and terminated his account. And now they're collecting massive fees from his 900 plus referred customers. And I have actually talked to Tone Vase personally, face to face about this, and he confirms that this is exactly what happened. All of his 900 plus referred customers, he was probably the biggest BitMEX affiliate of all of them. So it's not only that BitMEX doesn't care about its customers and its traders, but they also don't care about their affiliates. Basically, I think that BitMEX has been too big for too long. They have become too comfortable with their number one position. Everyone knows that BitMEX is the biggest one, so they, so they will always get new traffic but they got too comfortable they stopped caring and this leads to a lack of customer service a lack of uh, good trading experience for traders and I think that fundamentally BitMEX is not a good exchange to be trading on. There are much better exchanges out there right now. And these new BitMEX alternatives, they are capitalizing off of the bad behavior of BitMEX and the fact that people are leaving BitMEX in masses. If you check the amount of traffic that BitMEX has compared to its competitors, then you can see that online, the BitMEX traffic is going down significantly for the past one year, while the traffic for the BitMEX alternatives alternatives are going up heavily right now and this is obviously BitMEX traders looking for alternatives and so people are leaving towards these BitMEX alternatives instead. All right, and I'm gonna get right into this article about the BitMEX insiders. However, before I dive into this mind-blowing article, I just wanna talk about another major issue that BitMEX had. So this was back in November 2019, and this was the big BitMEX email data leak. So let's just take a quick look at this. So on the first day of November 2019, it came to light that popular crypto derivatives exchange BitMEX had accidentally leaked sensitive data related to its users which occurred as a result of the, of the company failing to apply a blind copy protocol to its mass mail servers. And here you can see a print screen of this mistake. So BitMEX uh, made a mass email and they accidentally uh, CC'd uh, all of the uh, BitMEX users as the recipients. Of course, in this print screen, all of these users' emails are blocked out for a reason, but tens of thousands of BitMEX customers had their emails leaked uh, to, to the public through these mass emails. And this was one of the worst weeks for BitMEX. We saw many people leave BitMEX because of this huge mistake. And it says here that the lapse was acknowledged by the firm just a few hours later after this email was sent out. BitMEX's deputy chief operating officer, Vivian Ku, released a statement saying that BitMEX had accidentally sent out a message to most of its users containing the email addresses of other users in the to field, adding, quote, We are deeply sorry for the concern that this has caused to our users. The issue was caused by an error in the software used to send emails. As soon as we were made aware of the issue, we immediately prevented further emails from being sent and have since addressed the issue to ensure this does not happen again. Now, how could something like this happen to 
a major exchange like BitMEX because this is a pure rookie mistake. I mean, we're not just talking about some social media thing here. We're talking about a trading website where people are storing tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin. But that's not the whole issue because even if it's hard to hack into BitMEX, because if I can see that your email is registered on BitMEX, then I know that you are in crypto. Now I can take your email and I can go to all of the crypto exchanges and I can try to hack the smaller ones with less security. And this article goes into this down here that according to Larry Sermak, director of research for the block, BitMEX's recent data compromise coincided with an email dump of around 30,000 and addresses on the dark web. This has led people to believe that some or all of the leaked customer data might have been sold online to illicit third-party individuals. Now, I have no proof that this is exactly what took place, but this is a real threat because all of these emails are publicly now available to anyone to sell uh, and use for whatever reason they can come up with. This is something that should not have happened. This has not happened to any other crypto exchange out there. So why in the world is the biggest derivatives exchange making such a rookie mistake? And this was one of the reasons why I decided to never again trade on BitMEX. But now let's get into the real meat of the story. BitMEX insiders caught in a web of lies. I'm not going to go through this whole article, but I do want to point out a few key factors. I want to take a look at this because I think it's my responsibility to make it easier for you to choose an exchange. And if you don't already know, this is Arthur Hayes. He's the CEO and founder of BitMEX. He's a very controversial figure because of all of the issues that BitMEX has. People are basically fed up with him and BitMEX. So back in 2018, a groundbreaking post surfaced on the BitMEX blog admitting that the exchange operates its own previously undisclosed for-profit trading arm. This subsidiary trades against customers on their own exchange and enjoys unfair advantages not available to other customers. This is the blog post, BitMEX Market Making Desk. And the controversial part is that this for-profit trading arm uh, gets these special trading privileges when they're on the inside. So while making money trading against BitMEX's own customers, the anchor market maker receives many special trading privileges that aren't available to other exchange users. Below here are three concrete examples of this. So number one, off-exchange cash kickbacks disguised as service fees. So BitMEX says that the uh, trading entity, which is for profit, uh, their earnings are comprised of a service fee paid by the business. But the truth is, if the BitMEX market maker loses money, the BitMEX exchange backdoors them cash payments, the economic equivalent of fee-free trading. This encourages the market maker to participate in unprofitable trading to artificially inflate exchange volume. This is also known as wash trading. And the number two example is unique status allowing them to short sell options. Uh, so BitMEX says that the BitMEX affiliated anchor market maker will be the only entity allowed to sell options in, uh, initially. The truth is, however, they are indeed the only market participant allowed to short sell the new up and down option contracts. This is a hugely profitable advantage in order of tens of thousands of dollars per day, according to one source. And the number three reason, additional API request bandwidth denied to competitors. And BitMEX claims here that no special privileges are given to any of the market makers, but this article says that BitMEX repeatedly denies uh, API requests while the privileged BitMEX market maker probably operates with far fewer order limit restrictions. And here we come to this order submission error. And there is this theory that this order submission error is actually deliberate and that during these times when the regular customers cannot enter their trades, then you have these privileged entities being able to put in orders before the rest of the market. And that is, of course, extremely immoral to give someone these uh, highly uh, profitable advantages over everyone else. And I do think it's weird that BitMEX, after all these years, being the biggest in the space, still has these order submission errors. Because if you go over to Bybit, Femix, and PrimeXBT, they never have order submission error. And Bybit has very, very high liquidity. It is the second biggest exchange after BitMEX, but they never experience 
order submission errors, even though they have very high liquidity. And the difference between Bybit and BitMEX is that Bybit can handle many, many more transactions per second. So even if Bybit had the exact same liquidity as BitMEX, they would still be able to handle uh, more orders than BitMEX does. So I cannot understand why BitMEX doesn't just change their trading engine. They could make it better if they wanted to, but it seems like they just don't want to. And maybe there is a more sinister reason for that than simply uh, too high liquidity. I think that the high liquidity is just used as an excuse for these order submission errors, but they pop up all the time. I mean, I've been trading on BitMEX. I know personally they pop up all the time and it's very hard to trade in the short term because as soon as the Bitcoin price spikes just a little bit, then, then you run the risk of getting this error and you basically cannot submit your order. And guys, I would love to hear your experience with BitMEX. Please comment down below right now. Do you have bad experience with them? Do you have good experience with them? Did you leave BitMEX? What is the best alternative do you think? Which is the best crypto exchange uh, for derivatives trading right now? Please comment down below uh, and I can address your comment in a future video because I want to collect as much data as possible to see if there are even more problems with BitMEX. And also, if you have problems with the BitMEX alternatives, please leave your comments about them down below also. And by the way guys, feel free to come down below this video, leave a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes. And if you are new to this channel, please click subscribe and you can also click this little bell here. And if you click all, then you will be notified as soon as I upload my next video. So now I'm gonna take a quick look at these uh, alternatives to BitMEX. Remember that trading is risky and when you're trading Bitcoin, which is even more volatile than other assets, then there's even more risk. So none of these platforms are meant for beginners and I only recommend these platforms to already experienced traders. So these alternatives are perfect for people who previously have been trading on BitMEX and are looking for a better platform to trade Bitcoin on. And something I want to point out first of all is that all of these three BitMEX alternatives have also very very low fees just like BitMEX. So first of all we have Bybit and like I said they have the best customer service in crypto. I have had a lot of dealings with the Bybit customer service and it's outstanding. They really really care about their customers and I think that this makes them stand out already. Uh, but other than that of course, the exchange is a very, very easy to use exchange. It is very, very intuitive. Uh, they don't have any system overloads at all. Uh, and whenever other exchanges are down, you can always trade on Bybit. That is a very, very valuable thing for a crypto derivatives exchange. And next up, we have Femix, which is a competitor to Bybit. Femix is very, very similar to Bybit. And in fact, the founder of Femix is someone who previously were affiliated with Bybit. So you can see that the, it's very, very similar. And one thing that makes Femix stand out is the fact that you can trade the gold price here. And that is, of course, a nice little extra feature. But it's important to note that liquidity is very important. And Bybit has the second highest liquidity after BitMEX. And so the, the liquidity of Bybit is much, much higher than Femix. And uh, Prime XPT, uh, also has lower liquidity than Bybit, but still higher than Femix. And Prime XPT is also a good competitor to not only BitMEX, but also to Bybit and Femix. Prime XPT is actually one of the more popular alternatives to Bybit and BitMEX out there. I've tried and used all of these, and I think that these are probably the best exchanges in crypto derivatives right now in terms of customer service, in terms of uh, liquidity. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for the most liquid and best alternative to BitMEX, then I still think that that is Bybit. And while that could change in the future, I really, really believe that right now they are the best derivatives platform in crypto by far. And the only thing that BitMEX has that Bybit and Femix and Primex BT does not have is the very, very high liquidity. However, I think this is going to change in the future. I think that BitMEX, with all of this bad behavior that they're doing, they will lose heavily from that. They will lose all of their traders. And like I said earlier, they are already losing so much momentum and they're actually going down in terms of liquidity, in terms of web uh, traffic. So I think that there will come a day in the future where BitMEX does not even exist anymore because people simply demand a better exchange. And that's why we're seeing Bybit thrive right now. Femix also and Prime XPT, all of these three alternatives are getting so much momentum currently because people 
people simply are fed up with BitMEX. And something else that these alternatives are doing much better is that they are also much more generous. For example, when you sign up with my specific link here to buy a bit Femix and Prime XBT, these platforms will give you a free sign up and deposit bonus. And signing up is extremely easy. They don't demand any KYC and signing up only takes 30 seconds. If you click my Bybit link, you will end up here. Just enter your email, select a password and within 30 seconds you can start trading on Bybit and you will be be given a free bonus from Bybit that you can trade with. The same goes if you click my Femix link here, you will end up here, you just enter your email, your password, and then you just click continue and just like Bybit, Femix will also give you a free sign up and deposit bonus for joining the exchange. And there is no difference with Prime XBT, they will also be very generous and give you a free sign up and deposit bonus. And if you didn't already know, I currently have the most uh, popular Bybit tutorial online. Just go over to my channel and you will find my Bybit tutorial. And thank you very much guys for uh, liking and engaging with this uh, tutorial. It is by far the most popular tutorial online. And I just want to take this chance to thank you guys for all of these amazing comments telling me that this is the best tutorial that they've seen and that uh, this basically helps them a lot in uh, using this exchange. But like I said earlier, Bybit is not for beginners. However, if you are coming from BitMEX and you just want a quick intro how to use Bybit, all of the functionalities, then just go and watch this tutorial and you will get a head start into using this Bitcoin trading platform. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Let's see if we can reach 5,000 likes. That would be amazing. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are one of the few people out there that have never seen this video, then click right there right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video.